Is this thing on? Hey everyone, this is Nia, Buffalo Modular Homes, and I realized I have not made a video in a very long time, and I have missed all of you, and I thought, what would be fun to talk about? And I love talking about all things home related, but especially designing spaces. And I said, you know what, I'm gonna come on and I'm going to share if I could design and build and make my dream house, what would be the things that I would really want to include? And then I would love to hear in the comments below what you would love to include in your dream home. If you didn't have a budget, if you could have everything on your list, what would be some fun things that you would include, things that I'm probably forgetting? Maybe you're thinking water slide. You have kids and they're like, let's put a water slide. That would be fun, but who wants to clean that? Who wants to clean a water slide? Then you're gonna have chlorine smell and, okay, we're, so we're, we're gonna reel it in a little bit. So I'm gonna share the things that I find um, in my life that I'm thinking, oh, I wish I had this, I wish I had this. Um, and, and in my next house, if I could have some of these, I think they would really make my life a lot easier. So if you haven't already, this is Buffalo Modular Homes. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, make sure, ding, I'm doing the little spiel. Even my little kids at home, they like pretend, they don't have a YouTube channel, but they pretend and they're like, hi, welcome back to my channel. Make sure you like and subscribe. And it's really cute because they don't have a channel. And I'm like, wow, this is their childhood. They're making YouTube videos, but they see mom and dad do it. So here we are. So if you like our content, if you like learning about modular homes and building, make sure you subscribe to get the latest videos. And if you like it, great, ding, thumbs up. If you don't, well, then you don't. And psh, I know you're tempted, boop, little thumbs down, but you don't wanna do that because you're a nice person. So, okay, anyway, let's get started. My ideal dream house, Nia's dream house, where would I start? First of all, we live in Buffalo. So where I'm gonna start is in the attached garage, okay? That is a must have for me. Now, if you live in Buffalo, you will also know that many people have attached garages and they don't actually park in them. They use their attached garages to store their stuff. What kind of stuff? Well, bikes and lawn mowers and all that, but we need snow blowers. And then maybe you go skiing. So now you have giant bags of snow gear and skis, and then you have um, stuff to go uh, camping. And then you, you just fill it up with stuff. And if you have little kids, you have 1 million strollers that you thought you were gonna use, and now they're just taking up space. So I want, ideally, I would love a three car garage because I wanna have space for all the stuff that we have and accumulate, especially if you have kids, you just accumulate stuff. And then I wanna have room to park our cars so that when I get out in the snow in the winter, we don't have to spend extra time shoveling all that snow off your car. That would be beautiful just to get in a car that's not too cold and just be able to go. So my ideal situation would be attached three car garage. Um, what else? Okay. So I come in off the garage and if you live in a climate like we do, we need a mudroom. If you don't have a mudroom, it is awful. Think about everything that I just described with snow gear. Now you're coming into your house, you have wet boots, you have wet snow pants, you have coats, you have scarves, you have hats, you have mittens. Um, if you're from Canada, you call them toques and it's a hat just like I'm wearing. Do you like my new little waffle hat? Um, so you have all the stuff and that's just winter. And then in summertime you have other things. So I really want a mudroom with lockers and I like the built-in lockers and ideally I would love to have doors on my lockers because you know kids, they're gonna throw stuff in there and if you can just shut the door and you don't have to see all of that mess, oh, my brain says thank you for just making it tidy and organized. So my dream house, I would come in from the attached garage, I would come into the mudroom space and I would have my attached lockers and then here's what I'm thinking. Um, we don't have pets because we have three small children and for me it's either babies or pets, I can't do both. So I wouldn't have a pet shower, but I think I would have actually a pet shower for the kids coming in from outside. My kids just gravitate towards mud and anything dirty, especially our son Nigel. So I would, I can just see him coming in filled with mud and we would go over to that pet shower that's not for pets and I could use that little handheld and I could like rinse off his boots, the muddy boots and just have things that you need to rinse off. I don't know, is it necessary? Maybe not, but if I'm designing my dream house, why not? Throw me in a little shower, okay? And I have a mud room. Now, a thing that I feel very strongly about is 
I do not want my laundry also where the mudroom is. I see this design happening a lot. And if you're trying to cut back on space, I get it. I did have a house um, a couple years ago where you walked in and it was your uh, kind of mudroom area with your laundry and it's fine. But what I just described with all of your stuff and now you're trying to come in and then think about when you're trying to do laundry. So if I'm trying to do laundry, then I don't really have space to put out a drying rack for my clothes to dry. So ideally I would love a separate laundry room, big enough that I can have a sink and have my ironing board and have my drying rack and, and all of the laundry stuff in one place. I would like it in the first floor and I would also like a first floor master. So for me, I have a really bad ankle going up and down steps. Um, it's not ideal. I actually wear a, an Exosim leg device, so I'm trying to cut cut down on the, all the ups and downs. So I would like the first floor master, and I'm envisioning a first floor master where you kind of have a his and her closet, because that would be really wonderful to have a his and her separate closet, and maybe walking through the one closet, you could also access the laundry room from the master bedroom closet, but then you could also access the laundry room from like a hallway uh, from the first floor too. So you kind of have two access points. I thought that that would be really cool. A separate half bath on the first floor. I'm envisioning my dream home is just open concept with the kitchen and the living room, great room, and the dining, all just one big space. Because I'm Italian, I love to host, I love to entertain. I would just love to have some really great parties and have kids over. I would love to be that house, come on over and all your friends and bring them over. And also when kids are doing homework or we're eating, we're just all gathered in one big space. I could cut down on the bedroom space. I don't need huge bedrooms. I would much rather have a bigger living space. So I'm envisioning, a half bath that's not right next to the kitchen because you know if you're having taco night nobody wants to be right next to that bathroom while you're trying to eat and cook okay so I'm gonna have that a little further away that uh, mud room so we're coming in mud room we have the first floor uh, master bedroom with the laundry room over there and then here's here's what I would really love do you know the butler style pantries that's behind the kitchen so I have a really big open kitchen and then behind it would be a little separate area like a walk-in pantry slash some people say butler pantry where you can have your extras your extra food but you can also do some prep back there so maybe you have your stand mixer that you use all the time and I really only use it maybe once every eight years but it's really comes in handy once every eight years, but have some of your bigger appliances back in that separate walk-in pantry. I would love that. Um, what else? First floor, everything open. Okay, let's get to the second level. The second level, I could see us doing a cape. Maybe you wanna do it a two-story. I could see us really just utilizing a cape and having the kids' bedrooms upstairs. We have three kids, we have two girls and a boy. And so I would love to put my girls, have the bedrooms, but with a Jack and Jill bathroom. I think that that would be phenomenal. If you have girls or two boys doing Jack and Jill, I think is a great space saver because girls, they kind of want to have their own space, their sink for brushing their teeth, getting ready. Um, and then you just have one shower and toilet there to share. Now with our son, I thought it'd be really nice to have in his bathroom or his bedroom, a separate like little bath. So maybe just the toilet sink and a little walk-in shower for him. That would be phenomenal. And then upstairs to have a little lounge area. So as they get older, if we're having friends over, maybe we're having adults are hanging downstairs and the kids want to hang. Maybe the, you know, because girls and boys, maybe the girls want to hang upstairs and there's a lounge area with a couch. They could watch a movie. And then a full basement because we're in Buffalo. And if, if you're in the Northeast, you know we value our basements. Some part of the countries, they think basements are creepy, but you haven't really lived until you've gone into a full 10 foot huge basement and all the possibilities that you have down there. So I would love a basement to give us more space, playroom, maybe you have a little kitchenette downstairs, you have a guest bedroom downstairs, um, maybe a theater room. Um, what else? Ooh, we could do some, before it's finished, you have like a really huge space where you could just ride scooters and roller skate. I mean, wouldn't that be fun to have like a roller skating rink in your basement? <laughs> Okay, um, so having separate spaces for kids to play and also toys. If I could just shut that door and have all of their toys and things just out of my sight for a couple minutes would be wonderful. I know that they seem to gravitate wherever you are, they just follow you, um, but a separate big basement 
What else? We actually homeschool. This is our third year homeschooling. And so for us, uh, that is very important, a homeschool slash office space. So what I'm envisioning is a is a really nice homeschool room with a lot of built-ins, and then we have one big table so that they could be working and doing arts and crafts, and then also some space for desks for my husband and I. So when they're not homeschooling, like early in the morning when Jeremy's up working, uh, even before ever, anyone else is up, he could have his own little desk space in there. And then in the evening, sometimes both of us work when the kids go to bed, and so we could have some space. So a dual purpose room, I would love to have that. Um, and what else? I have my little notes here. Large basement, separate kids areas. You can see for us, uh, when we're designing what we would love in our home, a lot is revolved about uh, how do we spend our time and our kids and what our lifestyle, like how do we envision coming home? How do we want to spend our nights? Where do we spend the most time? For, for me, that's important thinking about gathering, kitchen space, um, maybe for you, it's like a workshop or you're really into sewing or crafts. Bathrooms, I know for me in a master bathroom, having a walk-in shower with a bench is great, but I also need a soaker tub. I am a bath person. And then I meet some people that get really fired up that they feel so strongly they're anti-bath. Okay, and they're like, what, baths, that's awful. Why do you wanna soak in a bathtub? I think they're amazing, but you might not be a bath person, so you could X that out and have more space for a walk-in shower. It's certainly fun to have these conversations and something to think about now because you might find that you're looking, you're trying to find a floor plan and you're trying to find fit a square peg into a round hole. When you stop and write down, make a little list about where you spend your time. How many hours you know, are you spending in this room? Maybe you're like, I love a sunroom, but then you think about it, how much time would you actually spend in there? So do you need a sunroom or do you just wanna make your kitchen bigger because you really you're hanging out with your friends in that space? So I love to, to think about how do we envision our family? How do we see ourselves spending our time? Where are we making the memories at? And then how can we design uh, in those spaces, make the most out of our square footage and be really efficient with our space? So that's a little bit about our dream house and things that I'm picturing. Um, and I would love to hear from you. So in the comments below, what are some things that you would love if you could design any home the way that you would want it? I would love to hear your ideas. Maybe I'm missing out on something. Do you want a slide? Maybe you have a slide. Maybe you have, oh, an infrared sauna. That would be amazing in the basement. Maybe you uh, are really into knitting and you wanna have a knitting room. Um, maybe you love having people over for football games and you wanna design this like crazy awesome football sports bar in your basement. Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear your ideas. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Buffalo Modular Homes, one of our sales reps would love to, to answer your questions. And if you have any other questions about building, whatever you have, I'd love to hear them. Thanks for listening. Have a great day. Bye.